I have a couple of icing examples in front of me, and the first example I have is the stiff icing consistency. This is the icing that's gonna come right out of the mixer. So you can see when I pull my spatula through, it has little movement and it really holds its shape well. My next icing consistency is the piping consistency. This is what I use for most of my icing details. It has just a little bit of fold to it. Let me just give that a little swirl so you can see some of that movement. This is what we'll use for outlining and piping details on the cookies. So you'll look for a little curl when you're pulling your spatula out of the bowl. A consistency that I use only occasionally is a 20 second royal icing. This has more movement than my piping consistency, so it definitely has more motion. It has more movement than my piping, but it definitely will flow smooth. So that's gonna fold into the bowl and if I give that bowl a little shimmy, the surface of the icing will flow smooth again. So how did I get from stiff to piping to my 20 second icing? I'm adding just a little bit of water to thin that recipe out. So it's the same recipe in all the bowls. We're just manipulating it by adding the water to thin it down to the consistencies that we need. The recipe is very forgiving. It's more important to get the right consistency than it is to follow the recipe exactly. It's more of a guide than an exact science. So let me show you what I mean. This is a bowl of piping, and I'm gonna take this bowl and with some water, I just have water in this little dish, I'm going to thin this down to the flooding consistency. So we definitely want some good movement in this icing because this is what will flow on the surface of the cookie and create that base layer. I'm gonna start off small, I can always add a little water. So I have a teaspoon here. I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of water to show you that that icing is gonna start to loosen up and have more movement. And what I'm looking for is for it to really flow off my spatula. So it's definitely moving more. I'll add another half teaspoon or so. Now this is gonna vary depending on how much icing you are mixing. So it's tough for me to give an exact amount, but for this amount you can see I've already added maybe just over a teaspoon of water and it's already showing a pretty big difference. So maybe just a little bit more. We're really getting close to the right consistency for our flood. Okay. Now there's a couple tests that you can give your flood consistency to make sure that you're at the right stage. Now that's looking pretty good to me. So the first test is that I'm going to pull the spatula up out of the icing and it should really flow back into the bowl, unlike our piped consistency where it didn't flow off the spatula. So we're good there. So now we're gonna give it the seconds test. I'm gonna draw a line in the icing with my spatula. Oh, that looks like it's a little bit fast for that line to disappear. Let me try that one more time. I'm gonna draw a line through the icing and it should take about 10 seconds for that line to disappear. It shows me that I've added just a little bit too much water. So there are two ways that you can fix this. You could either add a little bit more sugar to the icing, or if you have extra pipe sitting um, in your containers, you can always add a little piping consistency to thicken that back up. So let's just get this to the right consistency. Because like I said, getting the right consistency is definitely more important. Um, setting those consistencies up from the beginning will result in a very successful cookie design in the end. So let me try that spatula test one more time. So we got good flow coming off of there. And I'm just gonna pull my spatula through See that line took just a little bit longer to disappear. 
And that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, if you wanted to fine tune your consistencies and really add a little bit of water at, at a time, you can use a spray bottle and that will really add a little bit of water as you go along. So that seconds test will also apply to your 20 second icing. So let's give that a test. When I pull my spatula through, it should take about 20 seconds for that line to disappear. So very slowly that line is disappearing. It's almost gone. And to really make sure that that icing smooths out in those small areas, again, you could give it a little shake. So just to review, we have our stiff icing. And the reasons we would use our stiff icing is when we want our details to really hold its shape. So the rosette on the onesie cookie is a great example of when we're gonna use the stiff icing. Also the ruffle really held its shape because we used the stiff icing. The piping consistency, that's what we're gonna use for outlining the cookies and adding most of the details. So that icing has a nice flow out of my icing tip and flows onto the cookie smoothly, um, but still holds its shape. The 20 second icing is ideal for small icing areas like the princess's arms, her face, and her neck. That icing will hold its shape, but it'll still flow smooth when we're making those small details. And our flood consistency is what we're gonna be using to flow on the surface of our cookies to get that nice smooth base to pipe the details. Now here's what happens when those consistencies aren't exactly right. I have an example of our piping consistency that was too thin. So you can see those lines didn't really hold their shapes. There's some cracking in here and the bead border looks a little bit blobby and less defined. And this ribbon, if I flake it with my finger, this is a really stiff consistency. It's just really gonna crack off and be brittle. Your hand is really gonna hurt when you're squeezing icing at that consistency. It's really hard to work with. For our flood, we have the nice smooth 10 second on our cupcake, but on this onesie, it was just a little bit too thick and we didn't get that smooth base. It looks lumpy. On the rattle, this white area, that flood was too thin. And so not only did it not hold a distinct icing area, it actually flowed right over the outline. So you can see how important it is to pay attention to the consistencies of your royal icing.